Hello guys, welcome back to uh, CFS video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through a simple light gauge shear wall. So once I open my CFS designer, I will go under shear walls over here and select simple shear wall. This is going to be the fastest video tutorial. So uh, I have my module like this. I will enter my wind load. Let's say I have 5000 pounds coming and then I have no seismic load so I need to enter minimum one pound because if you enter zero I think sometimes it gives you error anyways next thing I'll enter is let's say the length of the wall I have is 10 foot or the length of the panel it might be because buildings have like 30 foot long walls so we'll be dividing it into different panels and my height would be 10 foot the next thing I would like to enter in here is shear wall data okay so you can see data source I have my code IBC 2015 then the next one will be sheathing so this is nothing but the shear wall sheathing that you will be providing so you have multiple different types of sheathing over here one is 15 by 32 inch structural one sheathing four ply one side similarly 7 over 16 inches rated sheathing then you have steel sheets then you have shore board and also jib board and fiber board but in this scenario I'll be using a steel sheet so you do know how to use like all the other uh, sheathing if you want to use you can just come to this module and use that but for now I'm gonna go and use 0.027 inch steel sheet one side and I'll select fasteners let me uh, select framing thickness as 16 gauge and then I'll be using fasteners which are let's say 4 inches on center at the edges and 12 inches on center in between so once I select that my V allowable like in wind becomes good now, as you can see this was very low and we needed minimum 500 because it was up that was the amount that was applied so I select 4 inches on center and I get 500 now the next thing is my cords are failing like as you can see the interaction ratio is 3.81 and I need to make sure that is less than 1 once you go to cord data you don't have any additional axial loads as far as I know um, flexural bracing is full load multiplier for front check one distortional buckling inputs nothing as so far hold down a b offset each end don't worry about this i mean you can enter 1.5 now to get this we need to select our starts so as you can see over here 600 s 233 single member has been used right now over here also you can see that so what I'll do is I'll select 600 as 162, 54 and I'll make it back to back and it still fails. So I'll go for 600 as 200. Now the interaction ratio goes to 0.69 so which is good for my shear wall. So I'll be using my uh, 600 as 254 back to back as my end studs and then I'll have my steel sheet with normal uh, load bearing studs in between and my uh, steel sheet thickness is 0.27 inches 54 gauge material 4 inches on center and 12 inches on centers in between the studs so this 4 inches on center at edges it will be all around the edges and also to the end studs whereas 12 inches on center would be to all those load bearing studs which are in between so this is how you do a uh, simple shear wall in cfs designer thank you for watching this video